Welcome to 360 Sports Network on a somber day here. Uh, I'm here with Alex DeLaverson. Alex, how are you holding up, buddy? Not well at all. I've had enough of this. I'm tired of having my heart broken. I'm absolutely tired of the same thing every single night. I know it's going to happen. My hopes are going to get up, and then I'm going to get crushed. They're going to trample on my heart. You know, that, that's the thing, man. You, gotta, you, you have to put your heart out there. And it's very tough to do to begin with, but when you care about something so much, you would like been, to get something in return. Yeah, when you've been in this relationship for so long, you just expect you know to be treated back the same way. You know, you're spending money on the relationship, you're going out of your way, you're taking away time away from friends, family, you're putting the relationship first. You're investing everything you can. And, and what happens? You just get your heart broken. And then you realize, I just wasted, or I'm about to waste all these years of my life. And I don't know if I could ever love again if it wasn't where, if, if it's not this relationship. Well, that's your first love. That's the way it's going to happen. I feel like it's my own love. I don't feel like I could love again. No. I don't think I'll ever be able to love again. And you're not alone in that. And that's why I think I'm not breaking off this relationship yet. Because I know if I do, I'll regret it. And I feel like I'm trapped. I feel like I'm never going to be truly happy because if I get out of this relationship, I'm hurting. If I stay in this relationship, I'm hurting. I'm just going to get abused. I'm just going to get tormented. Uh, I'm going to get... Uh, I feel like someone took my innocence from me. You're holding on to what you care about most. And, you know, sometimes you don't get what you think you deserve back out of it. And you know, you're fine with that because it's still who you love. And that's, It's not just me. 60,000 other people. At least, at, at least, least that many have. I mean, and, I mean, that's just the people we hear about. Now, I gotta ask you, and this is a, a really important question. Did you shed a tear over this one? I did not shed a tear, but what happened was- A lot would, out, a lot would have. When I found out, you know, that things were going in another direction than what I hoped, I got, really nervous. When I realized it wasn't going right into the two, right, right into the heart of it, and I knew I'll never be happy again, I just, I just shook my head. I just watched as the other people celebrated. I just, I was in the, I was, it was worse than watching someone go to the prom with the girl you like. It was worse. That's how much this relationship means. Yeah, and, and I think it might have hurt even more that, you know, so close, so close, and then it's ripped apart from you. Oh, three. But then, but then you realize a day later that actually it should were, have been. The, it were, should have been the other way around. Yeah, you realize that you weren't really cheated on the whole time. It was just a big miscommunication. Mm -hmm. You know what that, I mean? That something was missed. Oh, missed so bad. And then three years ago, something similar to this happened. It, I wasn't hurt intentionally. But it happened. It just slipped right out of my grasp. And that's what happened when you're not disciplined and um, all these awful things happen. It's just, I don't know how much longer I can take. It, at first, you know, the relationship's going great. It's, you're in love. You feel like you're on cloud nine, and then you realize there's more to the relationship than just, you know, the extrovert stuff. You know you got put in hard work, and then you know you're going to get trampled on. Well, here's the thing. You go one week at a time. One week at a time, thinking that things might get better. You get into the winter months, and you know how that always goes. That just things just, you know, you're, that's when the heart really starts to rip. But then, as soon as spring starts to turn around, you realize, you know, maybe this could be. Maybe they could be better. Maybe. You know, they're that person. That they're gonna get better. Maybe we can finally get happy. Maybe, maybe we can finally get happy. Then summer of love comes along, and. You're all excited, someone, and then fall else, comes around, and we're and, and we're really excited, and then it's just you know a complete cycle that just tears yourself then, right back apart. And then other dudes from other cities come and just take her away right off. Yep. Hey. It just, I'll tell you why. I, I've had enough. I will always love this person, or these people, I should say. I will always love them. I'll always be there for them. I'll take care of them, but I will not renew my season tickets next year. Wow.